Hello and welcome back to iostack. Today we are diving into Angular and how you can create reusable functions across multiple components. We will be creating a shared service that can be injected anywhere you need it. So let's get started. All right, this is my simple Angular project. So if you don't have any project, you can start it. Uh, you can also watch my one of the YouTube videos that I have recorded about how to set up Angular project. So this project is already running in my browser. So first of all, I will generate a service. So for that, open the terminal and type the command ng generate service and the name of the service. I will name it common because this is the service that is going to contain the logics for common functions. All right. We have the common service created. Next, I will create few components. So first one would be the header and second one would be the sidebar. Okay. Once these components are created, we will start using them in the app dot component. So first of all, I will add the header component here and then we need a div in that div. I will add the sidebar. Okay. And after sidebar, we need a content section. Okay. So this is the sidebar. Let me quickly add some styling, a basic styling just to make it look prominent. So this is our logo. All right. Now on the right side, we need a navigation or menu section where we will add only one link at this time. So that would be logout. You may add more if you want to. So now I will call a function when somebody clicks on the logout button. But before that, let me complete the sidebar as well. So for that, let me open the CSS for the sidebar. Okay, this is our sidebar. Now in the sidebar, we will add some menu item like logout and dashboard. All right. Now in the common service, I will create a function that would be logout and we can simply alert anything logged out successfully. You may add all of your actual logic where you will hit the backend server to log out user or you can remove the session from the local storage, whatever you want to implement, you can add your logic in this function. Now the question is how to access this function from multiple components. So for that, let's go to the header component.ts file. We have to add a constructor function here so that we could inject the common service. Okay, make sure to import it. So there are two ways. Either you can keep this service private and create a function like this and call the logout function from here and then call this function in your html but there is another way you can just make it public and you can access the common service in here and here you can listen to the click event and call the logout fu function common service dot logout okay so now let's test it so as this is a header so i will click on it you can see that uh, the log logout successfully is being shown in the alert that is coming from the common service so now it's time to access the same thing in the sidebar component as well so let's define a constructor here to inject our common service okay now uh, let's make it public again and now we are able to access it in the html so here i will add javascript void here so that we could be able to click on that without reloading the page okay now here i will listen to the click event and on click we want to access the common service dot logout function and we will call it now let's give it a try click on the logout button you can see it is able to call the same function and we are able to call the same function from the header and sidebar similarly you can call the same function from the app component as well so in this way we are able to share single function across multiple components very easily so here i will inject the common service again in the app component .ts. Okay, now if you click on here, you are still able to access that logout function. And that's it, a simple way to create a common function in Angular and use it across multiple components. The beauty of this is that you maintain your code in one place, making it easier to manage and test. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and ring the bell for notification on our latest content. Happy coding.